Hey guys, it's Shanina Shaikh and I'm here with W Magazine and today I'm going to show you how to create a at-home spa experience by making your own face mask. We are going to make a coffee face scrub mask, a glowing mask, which is great for anti-aging, and a hydrating mask. Want to help me today? Actually, Chopper just had a bath too, didn't you? You got his nails done. Show us your nails. Come on, show us your nails. So if you have a robe, put it on, put some slippers on. Before we begin, don't forget to wash your hands and sanitizer. So you want to take your makeup off before you... Oops, too much. <laughs> take your makeup off. This is one of my favorite products. And then I'm going to cleanse my face. This is my favorite, Le Mer. I'm running out of cleanser at the moment. Literally, there's nothing left, and I don't know what I'm gonna do after this. Okay. And then we're gonna wash that off. And lastly, before we begin our face mask, I'm going to use a jade roller to massage the face and you don't need a jade roller to do this you can use your hands and kind of like push everything up it's so important to push everything up ladies look crazy but it's like <laughs> lymphatic massage I love this jade roll because it has like a little little end for your eyes. If you put this in the fridge, this is the best. Because it gets all rid of that puffy skin. Okay. Ready. I'm gonna go to the kitchen and get our ingredients. Come on, Chopper. Let's go. Come on. So avocado. We need an egg. Some honey, we need some honey, coffee grounds, coconut oil, sugar, lastly, I'm gonna get a lemon. Let's go. Now, to make our face scrub, we're gonna use two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. I'm melting it at the moment under hot water. Brown sugar, one eighth of a cup of brown sugar. And then, lastly, the coffee. A tablespoon and a half. What I love about this coffee scrub is that it's not just for the face, it's for your body as well. The coconut oil is super hydrating and it's great for um, the aging process and wrinkles. And the coffee is great for puffiness and redness. And the sugar acts as, a, as an exfoliant. So let's put this on. This could get really messy. So I'm gonna get a towel. Let's do this. I'm gonna use my fingers to exfoliate. Ooh. Oh, that feels so good. And it's really good, you can keep this in a jar. It smells so good. You know what guys, when you're doing this, to get that full experience, if you have someone at home, Get them to do this for you. Put on some spa music. Get the whole spa treatment. Now this exfoliant is gonna clear all those dead skin cells. And get that skin like a baby. I really made a lot. You don't have to make, look how much I've left. But like I said, keep this. Keep it by your shower and then when you're in the shower, you can put this on. So I say keep rubbing. Don't go too rough on your skin for about three minutes. There we go. Okay, so after three minutes, we're gonna take off the scrub with warm water. 
looks super cool. It is really messy though. Oh Lord. I'm gonna take it off. Look at that. Be super careful when you're taking it off. Don't be too rough on your skin. Wow, my skin. Wow. Honestly, guys, if you do this, your skin feels brand new. It feels so beautiful and it feels hydrated. I wish you could feel it. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you a anti-aging mask using lemon and egg. So I have the egg white in here and then I'm going to put a tablespoon of lemon juice. Now this is going to be our anti-aging glowing mask. Um, the egg is really great for shrinking pores, really good for wrinkles and glowing skin. And the lemon acts as an antioxidant and it's high in vitamin C, which creates collagen. I'm using my foundation brush, but I'm gonna wash this after. I'm gonna, so if you have a paint, old paintbrush, any brush, I'm just going to apply this to the skin. You can't see anything, but it's on there. My mum taught me this, don't forget the neck. This is super important as we age, ladies. So we'll leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Get some tea, watch a show, put some spa music on. I'm so saturated. I can hardly talk. I have to admit, that was so relaxing. I thought about finishing. <laughs> finishing this filming, calling it a day. This mask is super tight. I'm gonna take all that off with warm water. My skin feels super tight and like pulled back, like snatched. And it's super glowing too. For my last mask, I'm going to create a hydrating mask to keep all that moisture in. I'm gonna use coconut oil, a tablespoon of melted coconut oil, a tablespoon of honey. And now we're gonna put the avocado in. This is a small avocado, so maybe a quarter. And we're gonna mash it all up into a paste. Mix it all up to create like a paste. Ooh, just fun. Trevor thinks he's gonna eat. Now this is going to get super messy, so I'll put a towel on. Avocado is very healing and cooling on the skin, and so is honey. Honey is really recommended for face masks. It's great for acne as well. Another piece of advice, I would say make these face masks in the morning or the night before so you can create that whole spa experience where you don't have to get up and make it each time. And if you don't use all the masks, you can also just keep it in the fridge and use it again. So we're gonna keep this on for 15 minutes and take it off. I'm gonna lay down, relax, get some more tea, and I'll see you in 15 minutes. Ugh. My skin feels so hydrated and glossy. Feels so good. Just extra avocado. There you have it. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope it was a relaxing experience at home and let me know what you think of the face mask with the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to see more from W Magazine.